function arithmetic is similar to regular arithmetic, um, but we're going to use functions as opposed to just numbers. So in order to compute function arithmetic, we're going to need at least um, two functions. So here we're given f of x, which is 2x plus 3, and g of x, which is x minus 4. So if we look at the first one, we want to compute f plus g of x. That's how we would read it. So that means, essentially, we're going to take the two functions and we want to add them together. And you might notice here in parentheses there's the x right afterwards. The most common mistake is to take our result and multiply everything by x. But what I want you to keep in mind is that with functions, the variable in the parentheses right afterwards indicates um, the independent variable for the function. So the x there just means that x is the variable that we're working with. It does not represent any kind of multiplication. So here to add them together, well first I'm going to write down my function f of x, which is 2x plus 3. What we're trying to do is add that with g of x, which is stated as x minus 4. So for this problem, the parentheses aren't um, needed, but you could certainly put them there. So really to add these together, let me just drop the parentheses, is a matter of combining like terms. So 2x plus x is 3x, 3 plus, or 3 plus negative 4, or 3 minus 4, which would be negative 1. So what we end up with is a new function from adding the first two functions together. So then if we look at the second one, f plus g, so we're still trying to add the two functions together. The x is now replaced by a 5. So it's essentially we're going to do the same thing as if you were given an f of 5. Well, what that means is if the x is replaced is that you actually want to replace all the x's with a 5. So again, not multiply, but replace or substitute. So if we did that, let me go back to our function f of x, which is 2x plus 3, but now I'm going to put 2 times 5 plus 3. So I'm substituting in the 5 um, where there is an x, plus g of x, which is x minus 4, but so in this case, the x I'm going to replace with a 5, so we get 5 minus 4. And then I can simplify from here. So if I simplify the first function, well, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13, plus 5 minus 4 is 1, so our result is 14. And I want you to see that it would have been the same thing if we had just plugged it right in here, because 3x minus 4 is um, once we've already added f and g together. So you could already add the functions, and then if you plugged in 5 here, you would get 3 times 5 minus 1, 15 minus 1, and you come up with the same result. So it's a matter of plugging it in after you add, or if you are trying to plug it in and you know from the start, then you can do it all at once, like we did for that second example. And then let's just look at one more, same idea, the only thing I changed here is we're going to do subtraction, and then the x is just going to stay in x. We're not going to make a substitution. So let me plug in our functions. So the first one is 2x plus 3 minus x minus 4. So in this case, the parentheses are really important. So I can't just drop the parentheses. If I do, I have to make sure to actually distribute the negative which is the most common mistake I see with problems like this. So that gives us 2x plus 3 minus x plus 4. And then again, we can combine like terms. So 2x minus x leaves us with just an x, and 3 plus 4 is plus 7.